So, lad, long time coming. <laughs> <laughs> As indeed, I thought I'd have got you down my way by now, but you resisted. No, 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 no. Welcome to Yorkshire. A reception of hideous rock manoeuvres awaiting those brave enough to engage in these gritstone gaps and gripless rivers. But rather than tackle this myself, we've invited Josh Bryceland, the 2014 World Cup downhill champion. He's pretty handy on two wheels. However, the question that everyone is asking is how would he fare when confronted face to face with a Chris Ackrig EMTB attack? Could he handle it? Rocks and cameras, mate, that's what we're doing today. Two lads hanging out in the woods. <laughs> for a, for a, <laughs> Slip and slide. <laughs> For a nice tranquil ride on our e-bike. That's it. Shall we do? Let's. Have a wet. <laughs> oh, just a nice little start for one. A little sloping rock. Nice little step, but I think Josh has got it. Judging by his warm-ups. Uh, yeah! I thought you were going to backflip it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really flippy down there. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> down it a bit, wrong. Section one done. And the sun's coming out. <laughs> it's nice to watch you, but it's hard to replicate. <laughs> that's your bread and butter and it's stuff like that. <laughs> You've been eating. If you confuse me for a Tony Bow, <laughs> I was a downhill racer. Don't you tell. <laughs> yeah. That was scrappy at the top, that. That was very scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mate. Beautiful. One, two. Oh, these three more. These three more strengths. <laughs> oh, maybe next time we use a bit more power. I'd watch that rock now. It's greasy. Yeah, cheeky. <laughs> oh, mate. He makes a dab look nice, doesn't he? But I tell you, one far off being all right, that was it. Got it! Bite your <laughs> Holy <laughs> Bloody slip of that, innit? That's what it is. That'd be lit. that'd be so much fun in dry. Loving it though, wasn't it? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> He's off his head. He's got like he channels of strength. He's like a flipping explosive and I don't like to fight him, I don't think. I think he's a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> he's a wrong one. He's a wrong one. He's a wrong I hope there's a bit of your bike here. Is this a bit of one of yours? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah. So stylish. That bit scary. That bit. I got my front on. I was like, eh! humbling experience, to say the least. Mental, isn't it? Yeah, it's mad. Like, I watch all these videos, and I watch the video of you with him, and you feel like you could have a solid go at stuff, but when you're actually here, even getting to the thing to have a go at, it's just yeah. mental. Yeah. He keeps, 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 the, keeps the momentum through stuff, doesn't he? 
What was amazing for me is watching him do something twice up there. He did it different both times. You asked him how he did it and he explained it, but then he came in again and every, he was offline and different and he had the other pedal forward and he just... In, in, it, a, in a very difficult position. Yeah, but, but he just do, 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 and he's through. Buff, buff, buff. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, I, I don't even mind. I can't do anything because I just love watching him. That's, that's what I thought. It's actually an yeah. honor to be here witnessing... Seriously. Like, pure, like that skill level of... It's insane, and I think man. it's different to, like, the skills of, like, McCaskill or uh, the trials riders. It's, it's, it's like... It's unpredictable surfaces he's working on, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's this, yeah, yeah, totally. It's it's as northern grit as it gets, isn't it? Yeah. Like Danny's amazing. Danny's insane on a bike, and he's you can tell he's grown in the like. Um, well, first in like the streets on his trials bike, so it's a very predictable surface, and then Danny's got like the acrobatic sort of flips and spins and like crazy stuff like that. But like Chris is just, the little micro, micro adjustments he's making on a yeah. second, every second, like that's the sort of thing. Like when he was stuck on that rock, just waiting, just edging his way around till he found that grip when he was straight on. And every one of them hops would be a huge effort for us. Yeah, yeah, but he's exactly. just like, that's just a natural little yeah. process, isn't it? Hey, but still, uh, you got all afternoon to catch up with him. The Babbling Brook is a place where only skilled men survive, <laughs> clearly. Yeah, you have to have your weight perfect. And I think that's what's so insane to watch, Chris, when he's like, when he's, when he's on his back wheel turning on that rock. If I'm gonna maneuver my bike like that, I have to lean off it and then pull it back to me. But he seems to remain s central and just weighted. Oh, it's insane. It's just that. Trials, it's trials. It's, the skill set is just phenomenal, isn't it? What the amount of things his brain's doing at once is pretty insane. Beautiful. Hit it too high. It's almost commentated. Can you explain to me and Josh how you do that? Just break it down. I think it's just like a lot down to just doing a lot of it. It's like just more you are, like more you do it, just better you get it in. It's just like, just becomes instinct, I guess. You need to ride your bike more, Josh. <laughs> it's how you ride it though, isn't it? It's like you're a product of your, your environment. Exactly and that. he's yeah. clearly yeah, yeah, yeah. just... That's what I always say. Is, right? The gritty northern bugger, isn't he? The thing is, there's, there's, putting, there's putting effort into it, but then there's putting successful effort into it, isn't there? Yeah, Different and I think, I think it's character type too, like, we were just chatting and he's telling me how he gets frustrated when he's trying something over and over and over again and it's like, it's that sort of dedication to the craft and repeated efforts which hone skills to that sort of level, isn't it? You don't, nobody gets on a bike and can do that. That is dedication paired with 
commitment, skills, and a psychopath on a bike, <laughs> all of it together. Would you, would you like to, would you like to, to hit back with a character reference of Josh Boyslin? It's super interesting because we've been wanting to do this for ages. And it's so, like, we've got really good respect for each other. Like, we've known each other a long time. And um, it's so nice, like, it's nice sometimes knowing that you're, like, a big fan of what I do. But then when you start riding, I'm just like, I wish I could look so nice and like like almost elegant on a bike. When you when you start riding, and you're sort of doing your thing. It's just like ah oh, yeah, that's Josh straight away. It's just like yeah, I like mean, lovely. You're elegant in a different way though, mate. It's yeah, like, but it, that's, that's it, the thing. It, though, it's chalk and cheese, but yeah, in it as well. It is, you know? it is it's chalk like, and cheese, 100. percent I mean, what's it like to kind of go riding with the 2014 World Cup <laughs> downhill <laughs> champion? We're just messing around. We're what just does that rocking. count for out here, though? It's nothing, no, is it? No, no, it doesn't. No, it's like riding bikes, I don't mean that in any bad way. It's just like it's just like. I mean, I've been coming to this woods like such a long time. Shut up, let me not now. <laughs> but like when you see stuff like completely different to how I'd ride it, which is really cool. But it is, isn't it? That's just that's just different our people. Flow, our flow is chalk and cheese, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. chalk and cheese. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are, are the two of you like super happy that you're you're able to be a part of this? Really exciting era in mountain biking, you know, the e-bike era. 100%. Yeah. I think, like, there's... I don't think there's many people that have actually jumped onto an e-bike and gone, I've just had a <laughs> time. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you know and what it, there is, though? There's a lot of people who have denied it themselves. Yeah, but that's... Because yeah. they're like, oh, no, yeah. I can't do that. But yeah. You, you don't you don't hear people saying I've just had a terrible e-bike ride, do you? No. Do you think it, do you think it's simply do you think these bikes now are just simply an evolution of mountain bikes? I think for me, like all the way through my sort of career, if you want to call it that, I've always wanted to try different things. And then when these come around, it's like it's the it's the biggest thing, like the biggest change in mountain biking, I think. And it's just it's 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 like we joked about, it's not easy. It's not an easy cop-out thing to do. But my, my hobbies are riding my Trials motorbike, yeah. my Enduro bike and my Suron. And now with putting a motor onto a mountain bike, yeah, it's bringing it all together. It's like, well, we're all Trials background, aren't we? Well, here we go, then. <laughs> what would happen in a Trials motorcycle head-to-head -head between Akrig and Bryceland? I think we know, quite clearly. <laughs> Be a repeat I don't know, of today, I've, I'm, an yeah. on my I've never, I've never seen him on a trials bike, so I'll hold my judgment back. No, I, you've I got me be, I tell you what, though, it'd be really good fun. Brilliant. Well done. Well done, everyone. Thanks for making me feel like it was my first day on an e-bike. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're joking. Can you say that? You're it's joking. Like, you're joking. I mean, yeah. I mean, some of that stuff. Oh, big time. Dude, man. you're like, big time. there's nothing you've struggled on. But I, I've struggled on everything. I've loved it, though. It's insane, bro. It's insane. <laughs>